Hello, hello, I'm Tony Lyons, and I'm here with a tutorial about deinterlacing inside of Nuke. And so I just pulled some of the uh, assets from videocopilot.net, this bridal footage that Andrew Kramer uses, along with uh, this motorcycle footage that we used in the uh, basic sky replacement tutorial, and just some footage that I had for myself of this World War II looking guy falling down. So. I have already gone ahead and made a gizmo or group for this deinterlaced and uh, I just adjusted what was already in Nuke but I feel like it's a little easier to use and you'll probably find it handy. And There's only one setting and that is setting the format size of the video that you're inputting. So in this case if we go to the read node check out the format it's 420, uh, 720 by 480 sorry uh, 0.9 aspect ratio and so if we go down the list it should be right there and already if we take a look at this area you can see it just smooths it out completely smoothed and right now it's set to default by to uh, NTSC format but we can use it on a bunch of different formats um, I believe it's the same format, this motorcycle footage, but as you can see it's working just fine. But uh, for most of you, you're probably not going to be using NTSC, you're going to be using something like 1080i, uh, which is what this uh, falling soldier footage is. And so as you can see, there's some horrible uh, deinterlacing going on here, and so if we change the output format to HD, 1920 by 1080 uh, we can see again it just goes away and it's a nice little trick and so I'll include this gizmo with the tutorial so you guys can just download it and use it uh, whenever you guys want um, and for those of you who want to find out how I made that uh, just go ahead and stick around and I'll tell you how okay so Nuke has its own deinterlace already kind of built in but it's hidden away in the uh, all plugins tab and so what you you want to do is go down to this box and then go down to all plugins and hit update I already updated it but it'll load for a few seconds and then it'll update everything and that just gives you access to tons of extra nodes that Nuke has hidden away in all these folders and uh, so one of those was this deinterlace gizmo and I'll plug it into the motorcycle footage we can see right off the bat it's kind of doing uh, exactly what mine just did. Uh, if you copy this to group, and then if you hit Control Enter, it will enter the group, and I'll show you just what it's doing. So it's taking the fields, and a field is just a line of a line of pixels, a row of pixels, and uh, the way the interlacing is is working is it's taking the odd fields and the even fields, which are two separate images from uh, slightly uh, offset time timelines in the in the video footage, and then it's it's making it every other every other. So every other line is even or odd, uh, and so what this does is just just takes the even and the odds and it scrunches it down. As you can see, the format is 720 by 240 instead of 480, and it just squished it down. You can see the image is squished now. Uh, so what this gizmo is just doing is it's taking these squished uh, fields and it's reformatting them to the right size uh, 720 by 480 and then it just dissolves it by 50 percent and that is what that's giving you and what I just did is I let you have the ability to change the format size so you can use any type of format for the video instead of just this one and so you don't have to go in uh, copy to group, go inside, change both of these. You can just use mine and switch the format and it should work. Uh, and I think it's the wrong format, so let's just quickly switch this. There's one other problem uh, that I noticed, and it was that the image seems to move up a little bit. As you can see, it just kind of like jumps up. It feels like he's jumping uh, in the Y. So another thing that I did is I just added a transform under this 
dissolve and I just moved it down one pixel in Y and I felt like it just stayed in place a little bit more. It seemed like it wasn't going anywhere and it still had the same uh, same effect. And so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, as you can see, works great for HD, will work great for uh, 20, uh, 720i, uh, 1080i, any type of interlaced footage. So I hope you guys found that useful. I'm Tony Lyons and I'll see you next time.